And uh, I move on. And uh, next on my list is a distinguished representative of Pakistan. You have the floor. Distinguished co-chairs, Pakistan is susceptible to diverse hazards, particularly of hydrometeorological nature. We have experienced a devastating earthquake in 2005 and unprecedented floods in 2010 and 2011, which affected over 29 million people, causing damages worth $13 billion. We therefore remain strongly anchored to this consultative process leading us to the HFA2 framework in Sendai, Japan. I also wish to convey that Pakistan has submitted a consultation report to post HFA 2015 on the UNI STR prescribed format. At the outset, I wish to emphasize that Pakistan fully acknowledges the need for a disaster risk reduction management model that contains the following few fundamental concepts. It should be state driven. It should possess the ability to prepare for future threats to our people and infrastructures. It should focus on building resilience and reducing losses against future threats. Should be geared towards ensuring early warning, relief and rehabilitation. <coughs> should promote action at local levels and incorporate community participation approaches. Should harness synergies and promote action at the national level addressing needs and priorities in a con uh, contextual manner rather than one size fit all all specific manner should follow a step-by-step -step approach allowing advanced and developing economies to be able to reach common objectives in accordance with national circumstances madam co-chair my delegation would therefore like to participate in our deliberations ahead in the light of these key principles and forge the way forward based on them we fully subscribe to the view that hfa 2005 to 2011 still remains relevant today and continues to be a work in progress. We would like to enter into discussions on elements for the new HFA on the basis of consensus, promoting deeper understanding of the issues and charting the way forward on the basis of diverse geographical, economic, social and cultural factors which would determine the outcomes at the national level. In the discussions ahead, we would promote discussion on the following aspects. Pakistan endorses the risk management concept but underlines the necessity to define risks at the national level, keeping in view specific vulnerabilities, geographical characteristics as well as weather and living, patterns need, uh, living pattern needs of a country and its economy. We would urge caution against intrusion into areas that fall within exclusive national domains since that carries the risk of working at cross purposes. Pakistan is also ready to engage in discussions on integration of DRR, climate change and sustainable development, but would urge that we clearly define interlinkages more deeply and find ways of overcoming differences that already impede international consensus. We consider that without first defining common strategies and identifying goals and targets for an international review mechanism, this would become a difficult task. This is a challenge we need to address at the outset. <coughs> Pakistan also feels that the overall purpose of international cooperation within HFA2 context should be to supplement national efforts and priorities and our future course of action should be guided and measured against this yardstick. In addition, we could urge the discussion to include the following topics. Capacity building needs as part of international cooperation, risk financing at the international level, transfer of technologies for dealing with the multi-hazard identification and response mechanisms, and fulfillment of ODA commitments. In conclusion, I once again express Pakistan's strong commitment to this consultative process and look forward to seeking positive solutions for meeting the challenges arising from disaster-prone hazards and challenges. I thank you. I thank you, uh, distinguished representative of Pakistan.